You know, so basically, she's going to speak on white is good and black is bad. She's going to explain the fact how it is taught in the Latino culture that white is good, black is bad. You know, because this is something that a lot of people have been talking about, how they worship white people. But the sad thing is that there's still some black people who think they are not racist. Hi, my name is Vanessa, and um, I am Hispanic, so I would love to talk about this subject because this is literally a huge-ass issue in the Hispanic-Latino community where all these bitches and their grandmas are fucking anti-black, as you can see in the fucking comment section, um, literally proving your point. Um, I'm just... I just, I just can't. But anyways, um, this literally comes all the way from the shows, from movies, from literally Hispanic news, everything. It always highlights how black people are bad and white people are good. Even in the news, they never have the same energy to talk about how there's white crime, just black crime. Apparently, there's only black crime. And then they teach their kids that. And then that's why their kids are just like, oh, white people good, black people bad. And they try to stay away from black people. So I understand where you're coming from. And for all the bitches that are fucking commenting dumb ass shit like, oh my god, you did this to our community, so this is what you fucking deserve. BLM is a joke. Please, please educate yourself and your fucking parents because ignorance is just a fucking choice. And the Latina in this video, she's basically going to speak on black Americans saying that they are trying to blackwash Latino culture. It has become a trend online for some black Americans to try and blackwash Latino history. I've talked about it in my previous video. You'll hear everything from natives were black. They weren't. This has been disproven so many times. Two tacos are African. Menudo is 100% Mexican. I'm not angry at this person. Just tired. Okay, it has become a trend online for some people to pretend like they care about authentic history when really they're just anti-black. While I agree there's so much misinformation about black indigeneity in the Americas, you don't fix misinformation with more anti-blackness and erasure. The problem here that you're having has nothing to do with black Americans and it just seems like you're just anti-black and you don't want to acknowledge the contributions of Afro-Latinos. Because the people making the claims about Menudo are actually correct that it does have an African influence. Please read this book, African Mexicans and the Discourse on Modern Nation. To say Menudo is 100% Mexican in order to disregard the claims of it having African roots really is just more erasure of the 200,000 enslaved Africans that were brought to modern day Mexico. It can both be Mexican and African. And as this book notes, menudo is an internationally known Mexican dish that can be considered to have, among others, African roots, like the famous maroon language of the people of Alvarado, Veracruz. Afro-Mexicans have been historically erased and ignored, and your post is just more erasure. And you're not really concerned about blackwashing. You're just concerned about blackness in general, as in you don't like it, which is why when this person made the comment, yeah, we got to stop the blackwashing first by not putting Afro before Latino. We are just Latinos. We got our own culture. So really, you just want to erase the contributions and the history and legacy of Afro Latinos, like I said earlier. You can't say Latinos are racist against black people because a lot of Latinos are black. Let's unpack that comment. So it's very true. 130 million Latinos are black. That's a huge number of Latinos. And the media plays a big part on the misconception that Latinos are brown or white. Just look who is usually represented in mainstream media. There is the stereotypes for Latinos in the media industry that look like Jennifer Lopez or Eva Longoria. And there is not a lot of Afro-Latino representation. But there is absolutely a huge amount of Latinos that are white or brown or whatever you want to call them, us, that are in fact racist against black Latinos. In fact, just look at how many Mexicans, I Mexican, are racist against Mexicans. Like the Latinos supporting Trump. Because they don't want more like themselves in this country or they say shit like, we came here legally, that's why, you know. We are better than them. That's a huge part of the issue in our community. And it's part of internalized racism. And the thing is that as long as we don't acknowledge that or keep pretending like so many Latinos on my TikTok in the last 48 hours, that this is not the truth, we will not change things. And if we don't change things, we are participating because we fight each other. 
instead of fighting alongside each other. Like just as in, just look at it in numbers. If all Latinos and black people in the United States would refuse to buy from Amazon, just as an example, they would no longer be able to be a profitable company because that's our buying power. If we instead would choose online marketplaces that are owned and run and with a management or people of color, then we would be unstoppable. But is that we're here on TikTok trashing other content creators that are educating for free and giving us emotional labor for free because they, and I include myself, want us to do better. If I wouldn't love and care so deeply about the Latino community, I would make these comments. I want us to do better because I know we can do better and because I believe in us. And he's going to explain about the whole racism stuff. He's going to tell you what his parents had told him, you know, what he learned from the Latino community, his parents and his friends, what I've been telling you. See, because like I said, a Latino guy told me himself and a Latina female told me herself. Okay. Because I was asking questions when I first found out Latinos was racist. I was like, I can't believe they're like this. I never knew that they feel like this about black people. So that's what made me do the research. And I met people and they told me. Boost me because let's talk about this shit. Because this shit is so fucking true. A lot of Hispanic and Latino parents will literally try to teach you at a young age to not be friends with black people. And it's fucking disgusting. They show you racism, anti-blackness, like colorism at a fucking young age. You could be a dark-skinned Latino and yet you will get a lot of fucking hate. Not only that, media, media will even fucking show that shit too. Where literally they show that white Latinos are literally rich, smart, educated, and they're always holy. But when it comes to black people or Afro-Latinos, they're ghetto, they're poor, uneducated, and they're criminals. And not only that, not only that, a lot of these celebrities believe this shit too. And also, they do blackface. And that's why a lot of people don't want to unite when it comes to the Hispanic and Latino community because of the amount of fucking anti-blackness, the racism towards black people. And not only that, y'all forget that literally black people have influenced our fucking community so much from technology, from food, to even music. And some of y'all bitches be dancing to those music that literally were influenced by black people. I saw a TikTok in which a woman was talking about how she saw a photo of a house in Puerto Rico and it had a Puerto Rican flag and then right next to it a Confederate flag. And a lot of people were confused and appalled. Appalled, yes, 100%. Confused, no. Let me explain to you as a person who's 100% Puerto Rican from Puerto Rico, whole family lineage, tracing back to Puerto Rico. We have white supremacy as well. We got it from the Spanish colonizers, we got it from the US colonizers. The US colonizers have been telling us a lie for over 100 years now. That is, we help them suppress our own people. If we help them with their white ideologies, we'll somehow become a part of the club. They'll let us in, and they'll share all their wealth and resources and power and privilege. That has never happened. That is not happening. That will never happen. So that's why you see our people oppressing our own people. That's why there's a difference between skin folk and kin folk. And you notice it immediately. You see? We get in more and more stories about this issue with racism in the Latino community. So there you have it. A Latina said it herself. So for me, it doesn't come to a surprise because I already knew that. You know, this guy, he's tired of what's going on in Florida with the Cubans. You know, because like how he going to speak on the fact that they came into America illegally on rafts, you understand? They came as migrants. And then, you know, once they get settled and stuff like that, then they vote Republican. This is absolutely correct. So most of the Miami community is Cuban, Haitian, or someone from the Caribbean islands. Those are the people who come to Florida seeking asylum from the regimes in their countries, especially Cubans. Now, 
My issue with the Cubans is this. All of you that came over came from Cuba in rafts. And not even good ones. You wanted to escape Cuba so bad that you illegally immigrated to the United States and sought asylum. But in the state of Florida, the same Cuban residents whose parents and grandparents migrated to this country illegally are siding with the people who want to send other people away because they migrated to this country illegally. Y'all realize y'all on the chopping block, right? It doesn't matter that you voted for Republicans. They don't give a fuck about that. Why is that so hard for you to understand? They don't care that you vote for them. Unless you are white, Christian, evangelical and male they don't give a fuck sure they'll sit there and tell you oh yeah you see we got minorities that, that agree with us they're conservative minorities be conservative be conservative my father was conservative you think he would vote for Ron DeSantis no a man who actively tells you that I hate you, please vote for me because, oh yeah, you agree with, you know, that, you know, thing, but, and I hate you, and when we pass these laws, you're going to be the first son of a bitches on a boat back to fucking Cuba. So, keep hanging out with the GOP. Go ahead. Don't expect me to support you if you support them. I don't give a fuck if you're black, white, blue, green, Mexican, orange, yellow, purple, or from another planet. If you support the GOP, I don't support you. Bye, Becky's, Kens, and Karens.